Hey guys, welcome back to EE Tech Reviews. We got a pretty interesting product here. I'm not going to go too far into a review as I don't have a physical copy of this product. But what I do want to show you is why I think these are a very interesting pick while I'll probably be buying these next summer and just some of the theory behind the math and the engineering for what these earbuds are and why they're they're not bone conduction, but it's a very similar process, right? Just a different way in which they're doing it. And on their website here, 200 bucks, it's a steep price, but it's Bose, it's gonna have good sound, it's gonna fit really well, it's gonna have everything you want. And just to see, secure and comfortable fit, open earbuds, we'll talk about what those are. Clear calls, eight hours per charge, sweat water resistant. They have an app, it's wireless. And Bose Open Audio, that's the interesting part. That's the technology that they're going to implement on this. And this is something I want to go and talk about very quickly just to show the science behind it as well. But as a cyclist, as someone that likes to maybe go for a jog, go for a walk, sometimes, especially cycling, I'm a big cyclist, you don't want to be 100% cut off from your environment. It is very easy for you to be going on the road and a car can come whizzing by you and you can't hear anything because you're, you're blasting music or it's isolating your ear from outside noise. These attempt to solve that basically by having the fitment in the upper portion of your ear, the upper portion, and then they're going to have speaker, a big speaker, I think it's 16 millimeters, directed directly down and into your ear canal. So it's a directed generic audio speaker, not bone conduction. Um, the inside of your ear canal, I think is around eight to nine millimeters as you get deeper. So that limits the size of the physical, you know, uh, driver that you have pushing the air in, right? So this idea is let's just put a speaker in an area that's not covering your full ear, but have the audio directed directly in and have a 16 millimeter driver that's almost double what a normal driver would be, maybe eight millimeters on regular earbuds. Anything from Anchor, everything you've seen on my reviews are usually eight, six to eight millimeters. So you're getting double that, that uh, diameter there. And you can see the shape. It definitely fits around the ears. You can wear your helmet over these. You could ride a bike, go for a run. They got a charging case like everything else in general, but let's kind of just see what they say. Interestingly, right? They're the first of its kind that don't go in your ears. They combine exclusive Bose open audio technology with a unique open ear design to produce high quality sound without covering your ears, the city, the surf, whatever, all your athletic needs. This is interesting. just want to scroll down to where they show. There, that's a better zoom in of the fitment there. Looks pretty good. Still have all that open area for sound to come in. They're IPX4 rated, so not the toughest. I've seen IPX5, 6, 7 on some of the cheap earbuds that I'm using. But it's cool. You can see, right? Right there. It's going to be sitting just above your ear canal. It's going to be directing directly down and in there. While Bose Sport Open Earbuds, let me get you to see that. While Bose Sport Open Earbuds aren't the first open ear headphones, they're the first to use open audio technology, not bone conduction. This unique approach produces clearer, more consistent sound without the vibrating sensation of bone conduction is known for. Interesting. So let's look at it. Let's look at this technology. I want to learn more. What do they say that it does? Open ear wireless headphones are headphones that don't block or cover your ears. So you can hear your music and your surroundings at the same time. Good. This experience makes them a top-notch choice for running headphones and working headphones as they allow you to fuel your exercise with music without losing awareness of your surroundings. Let's take a look at the technology. So this is where it gets interesting, right? I think this is a very, very cool idea that they're actually showing this. So they say, what is bone conduction? To understand how you hear, you got to know how the audio wave gets to you, right? So in, instead of going down through as so you can see where my mouse is, instead of going through your ear canal, hitting your eardrum, where you end up touching and maneuvering and vibrating all of these parts, these are the smallest bones in your body, the sound eventually needs to shake the cochlea. That's this snail-like winded up piece of material in here. And it's in this fluid-like sac. So what bone conduction is doing, they're sending a vibration directly through your bone you know, you can feel yourself rattle if you hear bass too much. Send it directly through the bone, and that's going to vibrate that liquid sac that's in there. Your cochlea is going to pick up those frequencies, and you're going to process it as normal audio. Some people don't like it. They say it has significant audio quality limitations, 
They say it can't produce sound as clearly and consistently as traditional audio. Some don't like the fit, some don't like the feel. And I guess some people find it uncomfortable over time. And I've heard of people having weird like tinnitus type issues from it, even after not using it anymore, like days, hours later. Now, what is their technology? I don't think it's anything crazy, but we can look at what they describe it right here. Bose solution is different. Instead of sending sound waves through the wearer's bones, they send sound waves through the air for a more natural listening experience. What makes it different, rich full range of sound while minimizing what others hear. So to say it minimizes what others hear, it's basically a, a wireless speaker, like a, a normal speaker, right? Just stuck to your ear and directed directly at you. So it's not an earbud in the sense, but it's more of a, a speaker connected to your ear. They're designed to rest securely on the natural curve of the ear while precision placed acoustics ports channel sound directly into your ears. And just to show you, this is where I want to get into it. Speech is very important. I took engineering classes on speech processing, kind of like why Siri is important, how it works. All right. So I'm not a biologist. I'm not anything with pre-med. Just, it's just interesting to know how your body processes audio from electronics perspective. Receptor, receiver, our ear, it's going to channel audio into our auditory canal here. Our eardrum, the tympanic membrane, is going to get hit with these air, that pressure. It's going to start moving. And you see these little tiny bones right here. See if I can find a picture that shows the exact internals. So the three smallest bones here, right? The tiniest bones, the hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Basically, it's going to take those vibrations and it's going to move. And this stirrup is basically going to oscillate forward and back, right? And it's going to be pushing on that fluid membrane right by the cochlea, right? So let's see if I can find that. These, these bones act as a compound lever and achieve a multiplication of force by a factor of about three, right? So basically, it's logarithmic. If it gets too loud, they start to stiffen up to protect your ears from it bashing as the sound gets louder. Pretty interesting. And then to show you the inner ear, it says the cochlea is a fluid-filled membrane partitioned by the basilar membrane. And just to show you, better drawing here. So here, your stirrup, it's going to oscillate back and forth. It's going to vibrate. And your cochlea is going to pick it up. And you can think of your cochlea and everything in there as a analog to digital converter. It's going to take the normal audio that you hear and convert it into impulses of different frequencies and magnitudes and rates, right? And this is probably the best diagram to show you. And this is basically what the system's doing. They're open audio technology. The sound, right, coming out of their speaker, it's going to go into your ear. It's going to vibrate your cochlea. Your cochlea is winded up kind of like a tuning fork. The lower the frequency, it's going to vibrate the closer, the outer portion. As the frequency gets higher, it's going to start vibrating the inner portions of it. Our body takes those frequencies, splits them into impulses of different intensity and rates. Right, You can see it here. It's split up into its frequency components from low to high. And then that gets pushed into our brain, which even says we don't exactly know fully how, but our body is able to interpret these frequencies, process them, recognize patterns. And that's how we hear. That's how we enjoy music and all that nonsense. So I think it's a great idea for what Bose is doing. I think it solves a lot of problems that people have with working out, keeping yourself safe, right? So you basically, you're getting the same audio, the same audio quality. You don't have something jammed in your ear, but you're still getting normal audio reception by your body. It's not going through the bone conduction, which some people don't like or find uncomfortable. And again, it's offering you safety with good audio. I think this is a great idea. I'm definitely going to pick these up in the summer when I start biking and running outside again. It's pretty freezing out right now, uh, but I'm also a little bit of a baby with that. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it just to kind of see the science behind some of the technology and kind of know a little bit more about what you're buying. So you don't just think, oh, it's just the uh, earbuds. Yeah, it's earbuds, but it's more of a fancy speaker directed into your brain instead of being jammed right into your eardrum. If you're interested in buying this, if you want to know any more products or any technology you're interested in and want an explanation, please like, please subscribe, guys. We're definitely growing. People are definitely starting to notice the channel, and that's awesome. And Again, please comment down below for anything that you're interested in. All right, see you guys later.